dishwasher. I'm so excited, you guys. I bought a portable washing machine and it, it changed my entire apartment and living life. I could not believe how incredible this little thing is. I'm like, so when the whole pandemic started, um, I'm a germaphobe. Like anyone who knows me personally knows that I'm like crazy about germs. And so we have a community washing area where we, you know, have like a washing machine and a dryer that everyone uses. And people wash anything in there from shoes to rugs to like whatever. And that's fine. Um, I'm hoping the washing machine and the soap and the hot water and all that stuff takes germs away. But it's just the idea of going into a shared space with all this stuff going on that I was just like, yeah, no, I can't. So I found this little portable washing machine on Amazon. And I had seen videos of these on YouTube because I thought about buying one before, but I was just like, oh, there's a hose, there's a this, there's a that. I have to find adapters for my faucet. But it was just a whole lot of drama. And I was just like, I can't commit to that. It's just too much. Like, I don't want to be a part of that life. It's just, it's exhausting. However, knowing now what I know, <laughs> this is it. Like, if you live in an apartment and you want to be able to wash your clothes at your will, at your leisure, you need one of these. You absolutely need one of these. So I got this little thing on Amazon. It was only, I think it was like 80 something dollars, $89.99. It has since gone up. I think it's like a hundred. Either way, it's worth it because it's like, it's life changing. So the concept of a washing machine is just a water in a large space, a, a container of water in a large space. And it's just like moving around aggressively to get, <laughs> it's moving around aggressively to kind of shake the dirt loose from your clothing items in combination with the soap and the water the whole nine. So the idea of just a little washing machine being a tub you fill with water, soap, and then you just turn it, let it do its thing. It's like, it's incredible. I love it. I am obsessed with this thing. So it has two compartments. Um, well, let's start with the outside of it, right? So the outside of it, it's pretty big. Like it's kind of large um, to say it's such a small washer. So this just by itself weighs 15 pounds, about 15 pounds roughly. So it's really not that heavy. Um, I initially was going to use this in the tub and then take it out of the tub and stow it underneath the, um, the counter and the, the sink in the kitchen. And then I just realized like, it just doesn't take up that much space. And then I have these little stands in my bathroom that's able to hold it. So I'm like, I'll just do that. And then because I'm washing my clothes now once a week, it's just, it's great right here and it's super functional. So here's what I do. I was gonna show you the faucet and how I do it. So it comes just like this. This is the washing tub side. This is the drying really the spin dryer side. So what you do is you wash your clothes in here. It comes in two different cycles, right? So I thought I had to get up and get the thing. So basically I have one of these snake hoses and all I do is put the snake in there, turn it on. I've timed it. So it has three levels in here, low, medium, and high. I've timed the medium part and it's exactly two minutes and 39 seconds. So I just tell Google start a timer for two minutes and 39 seconds. I put the snake in in here and it actually it stretches perfectly like it's like the perfect stretch so i just turn on my water whether i want hot or cold or warm or whatever turn it on set the timer two minutes 39 seconds walk away um wait for it to fill i add the soap i think about halfway through what i started doing was if i added the clothes and i'm adding water at the same time halfway through i'll add the soap but either combination is fine. Liquid soap is the only soap that I've ever used with this thing. I've never tried powdered soap or any of the little tablets that you drop in there. Never tried that. I wouldn't personally recommend it. I feel like liquid would be the safe thing just because this thing has so many little parts that I would like to preserve personally. So I won't take a risk using anything other than liquid. I have found that the best combination or the best portion of soap to use is a shot glass. Do not use anything more than a shot glass. There will be so many suds, and in the rinsing process, it's a disaster to try to get rid of that much soap. So a shot glass, and initially, depending on the kind of soap that you have, so I've noticed recently, so this is the Tide Simply, right? So Tide made like a watered down, less expensive version of the original Tide. And I found that recently they watered it down even more. So like when I pour it, I see how fluid it is. And so I'm able to get away with the actual shot glass being somewhat full, but before the Tide Simply was a little bit thick. So if you have a thicker um, washing detergent, I would say only do a half, only do a half of a shot glass if you have a thicker um, washing detergent. So I do that 
cord in there with the water, starts to bubble up. I put my clothes in, or maybe sometimes my clothes is already in there, then I'm adding the water. Then it goes through the wash cycle, right? So you close this. On top of here, it has what's called a wash timer. This one says standard. This one says spin tip. Spin timer. Spin timer. Um, on the wash, after I do the soap, the water, add my clothes, I close this. I usually leave this open just because I, I think it's great for ventilation purposes because I notice the inside of this will steam up and kind of fog. So I leave one side open. If I'm using hot water, sometimes I'll leave this open just because it gets too steamy in there and I don't want the parts to get like steamed out. So I sometimes leave it open if I use hot water, but I rarely, I rarely, very rarely use hot water. I usually use very warm or lukewarm. So if I do that, I usually leave it open for like half of the cycle. So the wash timer cycle is a 15 minute cycle total. All you do, and you can hear there's like a timer in there. You put the, the knob, you turn it to 15 minutes or however many minutes you want. It comes in increments of three, six, nine, 12, and 15. I do a standard 15 for all of my washes just because I want that aggressive wash for as long as I possibly can. If it's something that's dirtier, um, you can come in and add an additional 10, five, 15 minutes, whatever you want, but I usually just do my stuff on 15. Then when you're finished, you switch over to here. This says soft, standard, and drain. You turn this knob to drain, and that drains the stuff out of the hose, and it just comes down and goes right into the bathtub. I even got like a little small strainer because what I've been noticing is there's so much dust in this apartment that the dust attaches itself to my clothes some kind of way. And this little strainer thing, I'm gonna show you. Look at how much dust it catches. Yes, this was from I washed white clothes yesterday. That was how much um, dust came out of my whites yesterday. So that's really important if you guys are doing this in an apartment um, building, you don't want to clog up your drain, that's really annoying. Um, so yeah, then once you drain it, the water's coming out, all the water drains out. So now once your water's drained, this is the part that I didn't understand. The instructions do not tell you how to do this. And I'm like, what happens? You know, you're just telling me wash and then do this and do that. So you have to spin your clothes. You don't have to, but I found it's better to spin your clothes after the soapy water has drained out. So after all the soapy water has drained out, I take my clothes, I put it in the spin portion. Once I put my stuff in here, this little thing goes on top to kind of hold the clothes in place. I find that it helps to just kind of secure the clothes in place and give it a firmer, you know, area to like spin around in and get dry. And this little thing spins and it spins dry the clothes to like 75, 80% dry. When I say the clothes get so dry, I, I was so impressed. I was just like, wait, what? So now when my clothes are spun dry and that's for the full five minutes, you get about 75% dry with the full five minutes. It has this little timer only goes up to five. And so when I'm doing the wash cycle, here's what I found. When I do the soapy water wash, once that's out, I only drain it for like a minute or two because I know I'm gonna rinse it in cold in water, right? I know I'm gonna rinse it in fresh water, so I just need to get out as much of the wet soapy water as I possibly can. And I find that one to two minutes is just enough. Once that's finished spin drying, one to two minutes, I, I would say it's about 50% dry if you do one to two. And then I put it back in this bin. Then you refill this bin again with the fresh water, right? So now you have your spun dry clothes and fresh water in this tub. Once it fills up, then you start that wash cycle again at 15 minutes. And what it's doing is it's rinsing your clothes for 15 minutes. Then once that's done, you do the same thing, right? The clean water drains out or the rinse water drains out. And then you put those clothes in the spin dryer part and then put that little top in, close the lid. Then you give it the full five minutes. That full five minutes will dry your clothes to 75%. Like once I do that and I put my clothes, I have like a little drying rack. My clothes have dried on that drying rack in like two hours. I've had towels dry in three hours just from this spin dry. Like this spin dry is so powerful. It can dry your clothes so well. So yeah, my clothes are dry within a couple hours. Um, what else was I gonna tell you guys? Portions, how many, so what can you get in each portion, right? So in the tub portion, I can do one towel, which I'll show you the size, the standard size of a towel. Right, so I could do this towel, a t-shirt, some underwear, some camis, and maybe a pair of biker shorts. I can get that in here. Now, 
it'll be fine but i find like the less that i have in there and the more water there is is the more aggressive the spin is so depending on how intense i want the wash to be i'll add less clothes but for the most part i'm doing a towel a t-shirt some underwear and camis that's it that's enough for this and so with that i'm able to wash my clothes once a week so like i use one towel every three days so i wash my towels you know once a week so i'm washing and what i found with the towel thing is i can do two towels alone by itself perfect aggression of the water like it's just the right amount and i could just spin dry those and then those towels are dry on the drying rack within like three hours so that's another thing to consider if you get it you can do two towels by themselves um you can't do two towels or anything else it'll just be it's too much you, you'll see the water isn't shaking as much it's kind of just like a full type of thing going it's like a light shake you want that aggressive you know because that's really what's going to get your clothes um really clean and then inside it has like this little filter thing that you can um clean out after every wash i love that because this further solidifies the amount of dust that is in our clothes that we don't even know about like the lint and all that stuff and I love that it has this in here, so it prevents it from getting into the actual machine itself. So I clean this out before every wash. And I'm gonna do a little wash um, when I get off the phone, well, when I stop recording this. So yeah, and then you just pop it back in, it's so easy. Now this whole thing comes as is, as in it comes just built just like this in the box when you get it from Amazon. And all you're doing is removing it from the box and just putting it wherever you want in your apartment. And you plug it in and you go. It comes with a little outlet hose and an inlet hose. Um, it did come with an inlet hose, but you need some kind of adapter to put it to your sink, which to me was annoying. If you have a place in your house or in your apartment where you can have a, um, a water line within reach, like my snake thing, then that's to me that's the best idea bathrooms are ideal for it the only thing is your bathroom needs to be properly ventilated they don't they do say on the instructions they don't recommend putting it in moist areas just because of mold and mildew so what i've been doing is i have a a little device that i got on amazon and it basically takes the temperature and humidity level of the room hey google what's the desired humidity level inside of a home 30 to 50 percent <laughs> I'm currently at 53% so I need to let me go turn on the um I have the air conditioning on but the thing isn't open okay so I've had a lot of issues with mold in this apartment and it's been really aggressive and really crazy and I finally got it under control just because of so many years dealing with it talking to mold specialists calling different places like I really really educated myself on humidity control and mold and stuff so right now i just turned the air on because i was filming and i didn't want it to um, interact with the sound but this isn't terrible so i just turned the ac on in the bedroom to kind of get the air to circulate a little bit more but i found that in the summertime i thought i was going to need a um, dehumidifier which pulls the moisture out of the air goes into this water tank and then you have to empty it out that just looked like so much drama to me and i kind of was like i can't my super was gonna um the owners of the building actually agreed to buy me one but then i thought about the bulkiness of it i don't want all that in the bathroom and so i was just like okay let me see if i can get under control myself if i can i'll let you guys know either way i'd be spending electricity so i just started doing turning acs on on both sides of my home leaving the door open and it really just like it takes all the moisture out it's incredible so i also try to do cold showers in the summer do not leave your windows open in the summertime if you live in a humid area like New York is so humid. Our humidity levels in the summertime are usually between 80 and 90 percent, 80 sometimes 100. So I don't open my windows anymore because before I was noticing the humidity in the apartment was like 80 percent. I was like, why? So I started closing the bathroom window. Even when I shower, I keep it closed and it gets under 50 percent with me not opening that window even when I take a shower right but mostly goes up to like 60 so anyway if you're gonna have this i say all that to say if you're gonna have this washer in a space where moisture is dominant please be mindful of that buying a meter like that really helps because you're able to kind of gauge what's happening what's going on so yeah mine has been in here since i got it and i love it i just 
I'm obsessed with this thing. Like I find excuses to watch things. I'm like, oh, I should probably watch some things today. Like, and it's so peaceful. Like it just brings me peace doing it. I just love it so much. I don't know why. So yeah, um, hope you guys liked the video. Hope it was informative. Um, I hope I covered everything that I was wondering when I was looking for one of these because I watched a ton of videos and I just felt like everybody wasn't explaining everything. And I'm like, girl, how you like take me through a full wash. And so I hope that that's what I did in the beginning of this video, like showing you how you know load the clothes take it out spin dry then load it again rinse it fresh water rinse it out spin dry hang it on the drying rack i hope i really was able to walk you through that process if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment below i'm more than happy to try to get back to you as quickly as i possibly can and let me know if you have one of these already or if you're thinking about buying one because i am obsessed like she is everything i love her <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching see you guys next time